Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. If you guys want to check out this look, I hope it'll go before this um, for my Pride look of the month. Super ecstatic with how it turned out, and I hope you guys enjoyed that video or go check it out. Today, though, I'm going to be unboxing my Boxy Lux for June. I know I normally do a try-on video for this. This month, I just felt like the last Boxy Lux try-on was like super overwhelming, so I think I'll continue to do um, try-ons for the regular Boxy Charms, but when I get to Boxy Luxes, I think I'll just like unbox them and not really do the try-on. With that being said though, if there is products in here that you guys are interested in, I will film a video with them, or if I'm really intrigued and want to try them out for a video, then I will do so as well. But today is just going to be unboxing, showing you guys what I got in mine. Let me know down below what you guys got in your boxy Lux or boxy charm, boxy premium, whatever you have. Other boxy charm information will be down below in the description box as well as a, a link to sign up. Ooh, I already see really exciting things. Okay, so this is the Oasis. Now, everything that came out with, or everything going on around this time with the Black Lives Matter movement, I did see that Boxy Charm was just like not really sticking to um, their like theme. These are obviously probably like pre-printed um, just so that they're ready before the beginning of the month. So they kind of had no idea of what was about to happen. So I think it's cool that they addressed it though. I'm, I think it's cool that they kind of put that stuff aside and they posted for what really mattered at the time, like a majority of us did, and I love it. I love all the support that the Black Lives Matter movement got, um, including brands like BoxyCharm. But they did still send their card with their theme, which would have been the Oasis, still is, but they still wanted to make it a point to kind of put everything on hold, and I think that's why everybody got their boxes a little late this month. So the first thing I got is from Kylie Skin. I have been really wanting to purchase something from Kylie Skin for a while because of my skincare Sundays and I love Kylie Cosmetics. I know it's not everybody's thing, but I love Kylie Cosmetics. I love the ideas. I love the formula of things. I think it's a good brand. So I have been really intrigued by the Kylie Skin, um, but I just still have not purchased anything because I get a lot of skincare and subscription boxes, obviously. Um, but I did get the Kylie Skin um, Foaming Face Wash, and I've seen a lot of mixed reviews on this, so I'm excited I'll finally be able to put it to the test um, for myself, but also for you guys. I will be filming a six-week period of using this product, and I will let you guys know what I think about it. This is the outer carton. This is the actual bottle. It's very nice and sleek, I think, and it has five fluid ounces, and it does have the pump and it comes out foaming is what I have seen, but I like it. I like the pink, I like the the whole aesthetic. This does retail for $24. A video will be coming on this, but again, my skincare videos are like, I like a six week long period of really trying out the product before I can give you guys like my actual thoughts on it. Um, the next product I'm really excited about because I love this brand. This is from Pure Lease, and it is their Perfect Glow BB Cream with SPF of 30. This is like the perfect product to receive in a, a subscription box or anything during a time like this for us, at, at least. I know that I have some of you guys that are like in New Zealand, but um, we're going into summer. Well, we're pretty much in summer now by the time you guys see this too, but we're in summertime, so like these type of products is amazing. I know you're supposed to wear SPF all year long, but for the summertime, I always want something like this that's light on my skin. It gives me some coverage still, but it has SPF as well. I love this brand though. Um, they also sent like this little card with it that I think is really cool. Kind of talked before in the past about this brand and some of their other things. And Jennifer Yen, she actually owns um, Yensa Beauty, I believe. So. It's kind of like this was like their skincare and then that's like their makeup, but this is really cool because it's like from a skincare brand, but it still is like a makeup product. So I always love that type of thing because I know like the ingredients are going to be good for my skin as well. The downfall with this is by, I believe there is only like 
there's like a limited amount of shades. I don't want to say exactly a number. I was thinking like six, but there could be more than that. There could be less than that. I'm not quite sure. I will do more research on it whenever I try this product out for a video because I will be doing a full uh, first impressions and wear test with this product because I'm intrigued. I did get the shade Fair. So hopefully it matches me pretty good, but I have seen that some people are kind of like, oh, because of the shade range and all that. We can't have it. We will discuss that more in this video when I try this out, but it is, it does say complexion perfection for a gorgeous matte meets dewy finish. That sounds amazing. Your multitasking beauty balm glides on like a tinted moisturizer with all the an the age-defying coverage and sunscreen benefits of a foundation and BB cream. It retails for $35 and you get 1.4 fluid ounces. So, sounds like a dream, but we will have to um, check out more about this, the shade range and all of that, and do a video on it. This next product sounds really interesting. It is from Tula Skincare. I feel like I've gotten something from them before too. This is their Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. And it's like a stick. It almost looks like a highlighting stick, like a cream highlight. Ooh, it has like a little, oh, do I need to twist it? Yeah. So a little cap that comes off of it, and yeah, it just kind of looks like a, a highlighting stick. It's almost like that mint shade, like the Becca um, under eye stuff that I like to use, um, that I've done a whole video on too. So that'll be really cool. If you guys want to see like a skincare Sunday on this, I might do that on one of those. But it is, it says this, this eye balm stick delivers a lit from within glow while instantly hydrating, cooling, and filling in the fine lines around your eyes. You'll feel awake with this eye balm and look refreshed and energized so you can glow and get it. It retails for $28. Um, so that's pretty nice. Um, I do feel like it's kind of like around the same thing as like the Becca one that I was telling you guys. It comes like in that little uh, square packaging and you just have to like rub your ring finger and pat it on. It's kind of like those same um, benefits things going on there. The next thing is the palette in this uh, box. This is from Tarte. This is their Tardis Pro, and I do not have the Tardis Pro palette in my collection. Um, it's pretty neutral, so that's why like I've just never really went for it. I honestly don't know if I'm even going to um, touch this or anything. I might set it aside for a giveaway. I'm not really sure. Um, I do want to kind of like look at it because I. I personally do like their shadow formula. I think it's really pretty. And some of their palettes are like my go-to for like day-to-day -day palettes because uh, the formula is really nice for day-to-day -day and I feel like it wears nicely on me. Ugh, and the packaging is always so sleek. It just reminds me of like NARS. I just have like a little slip. But yeah, this is like the shades. Oop, if I can open it. This is the shades. So they're not like anything like wow, you know, or anything like that. I feel like it would definitely be like just like a everyday neutral warm tone type of looks. So I don't really know if this is something that I'm even going to swatch or touch because like I said, I am trying to get to the point now. I've had myself like on a no buy for a little while now because I just want to use and utilize everything that I have in my collection while not like getting stuff that and opening stuff and swatching stuff that I'm not honestly going to use. And that's why it's hard because sometimes in my boxy charms I get these palettes that are like so neutral and I'm like, I don't need any more of these, but I always want to film the videos trying the products on for you guys. So with my boxy luxes, if I do get products like this, I might just set them aside for a giveaway and not swatch them because I have so many neutrals and warm tones in my collection already. Don't think I need another one. The next thing is from Eco Goddess and oh Eco Modern Essentials and it's the Goddess Duo. So this is self care pure essential oil blends. Um, I did forget to mention the palette is forty nine dollars from Tarte. This set is forty dollars for the duo. It is essential oils. I'm intrigued because um, I've been looking at essential oils lately. I had some in the past that I've either ran out of or have lost between moving and stuff like that. Um, so I've been like looking into different ones and I'm wanting like some that I know that are like completely like natural, more of like the actual oil than like watered down and diluted. So I will try these out and see what I think. I am not somebody that likes to ingest them whatsoever. Um, I like just like the topical use of them 
or like the diffuser. I also have my facial steamer situation that I've done a whole video on and it came with like these extra tips that you can um, drop a few essential oils on and then put it on there and when it uh, steams your face, you also get the benefits of the essential oil as well. So I will probably try these for that and see what I think about this brand because I've never tried the Eco brand for this. But this does come with the Calm and Distress, which sounds amazing, and the Women's Blend. So I will probably end up putting these on either my beauty blog or maybe even just my lifestyle blog because I feel like essential oils are kind of like more lifestyle too. But yeah, like I said, these are $40 a piece, or together as the duo, and I will have to read some more on these. If you guys don't follow me on my personal Instagram, you guys can check it out. It's mainly like my personal life with my family and my kids and like what I'm up to behind the scenes of like all the other things that I do. Um, but it's just at Allison Hunt underscore two. It's my old Instagram. I used to aver er, advertise it. I used to put it up on the screen before I changed it to Allie Brianne underscore MUA. Um, but I still have my Allison Hunt underscore two. That's just like my personal. But um, you can still follow me on there because I do have a lifestyle blog where I post mommy things, lifestyle things, that type of ordeal. And I will probably be posting these over there as well. The next thing is from Billion Dollar Brows, and I had no idea that they had brushes. I might just be late to the party on that, but this is their charcoal brush set. But these are vegan, cruelty-free, and synthetic brushes that are charcoal-infused for an anti-microbial... micro... bile... bile? effect um, allowing your flawless makeup and eyeshadow application. Retails for $55 for this set and you can kind of get a gist of like the brushes that are in the set. You do have your powder brush, your contour brush, your concealer brush, your eyeshadow brush, and your highlighter brush. If you guys want to see a video trying out these brushes, I will do that as well. Just a couple more products. The first one is from Maline and Goats. Geotes? I don't, I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know how to say that. But this is the recovery treatment oil. Um, so yeah, this is supposed to be an oil. It's a botanical oil treatment that absorbs quickly to nourish skin and help improve appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Um, evening primrose, argan, and jojoba oils help boost hydration. Grapeseed and rosehip oils delivers vitamin C and E to help improve skin tone. Um, geranium and... Borage oil helps balance skin, suitable for all skin types, including sensitive. It retails for $82, so I'm going to have to try this out. I have been loving my rosehip oil from Good Molecules, so I love that this has rosehip oil in it as well. But it's supposed to help, like, even your skin tone. It's supposed to also help with, like, anti-aging, hydration. All of that sounds amazing. You do get one fluid ounces of it in this nice, like, blue dropper. Um bottle, glass bottle at that. So it seems really nice. I'm really intrigued by that. So I'm gonna have to try it out. I love a really nice face oil. And then the last thing is from Bodyography and it is the lip pencil set in the shade Pouty and Rosewood. And I want to say I have maybe one or two of these. I don't know, but they're just like, I think these are lip pencils. Yeah, I feel like I have these, so I might set these aside for a giveaway as well, but you guys can kind of see that there is a berry and then like a mauve pink shade. And they're just standard wooden lip pencils. They retail for $28 as the duo. But that is everything from my Boxy Lux for June. Again, let me know down below in the comments what you guys got in your Boxy Charm, Boxy Premium, Boxy Lux this month, or what you think of these. If you guys want to see any of these featured in upcoming videos, let me know. I'll probably still try to do some of them anyways, but if one in particular sticks out, let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.